employees, getting qualified people. I think it's across the board. I think it's staff. I think it's 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 very hard to find a qualified individual that wants to that's you know, able bodied and able to come in. A lot of our employees now are getting up there in age and, and getting young employees back into the workspace. It, it's proven difficult. Um, we work with what we can, and uh, we've been lucky so far. But I would say that's probably the biggest thing that we struggle with. Seems like a slight slowdown. I think the economy's kind of played a big part in it. It's, uh, I, I, you know, getting customers to pay lately has been a big problem at our place, but it, it's been minimal, so we're, we're surviving and making it happen. Uh, administrative work is heavy, and uh, just being able to bring in more customers and uh, be more efficient and effective will, you know, definitely help us grow. Probably just getting our efficiency, getting our cars moved through in and out, the challenge. Yeah, just there's a lot of delays that can occur and just trying to avoid them and make everything as efficient as possible. I would say insurance, so it's slowed up a lot from the last two years. Um, I would say the insurance relations to the shop, so we're not DRP, and the insurance company relations to the shop are at an all-time low. They just decided they, won't, they don't want to pay for operations, they don't want to um, pay for things they paid for 20 years. And it's a constant argument, it's a constant, we have the best proof, we have all the data that they need, but they went down the road of just not paying for things now. There's always conflicts between insurers and, and OEMs. Um, for us, it, it's, we've gotten over a lot of those. Um, we're, we're, again, like I said, an OEM certified shop, so for us it's really Growing our staff for the long term, we've, we've grown pretty quickly over the last few years. The long term of growing our staff and developing them and training them, so bringing people out here to these places and seeing what other learning opportunities there are after SEMA uh, is a great option for us to help grow our staff into the technicians we need for the future. I think what the class that I just took is it's negotiation. It's how to negotiate with different insurance companies. That's important. It's, it can't be just I want, I want, I want. I get it. It's negotiation. So you have to learn how to communicate with the insurance companies to obtain what you need to give the customer that comes into my shop the proper repair. I believe in the power of networking. So you just connect with other people. Um, part of the, I went to CIC yesterday um, to try to get closer to other shops to be able to talk to other network, you know, other industry leaders to figure out what they're doing, what they're seeing. And I, what I've seen, it's, it's pretty uniform as far as what we're all going through. And I've, I've been doing this my whole life. Um, so I believe in the power of relationships and it's here. Look for some better quality, maybe up my clientele a little bit, you know, so that way I can, you know, kind of appeal to the Maybe, a, I don't want to say a higher class, but a better customer. How's that? Yeah, it's different equipment, you know, different relationships with uh, products. You know, like these guys, they got a pretty awesome product going on now, and I think it's a high quality, cool product that we're working with. So, I'm just looking for uh, like a all-inclusive system or company that's going to be able to help us uh, streamline all of that, you know, whether it be first contact with the customer, keeping them updated throughout the process. We did a couple classes this morning. Uh, we just did one with uh, insurance coverage and negotiations. What needs to be done and let them realize that it needs to be done to make the car wholesome again. Customer experience this morning, helping the customer understand the process and what goes on and why the process takes so long and everything that goes into it and being back to the way it should be. These get you started, get you the idea of what you're looking to do, and then you can typically deep dive into it later on. Other trainings, other avenues, maybe other businesses that you can look at to help you grow your collision business. Oh, wow. Uh, I, I, I don't know, we're just kind of overwhelmed with the whole thing. Uh, I can't think of anything very much in specific, some incredible trucks, for instance, but um, just kind of overwhelmed by the whole thing. So I'm excited to go see 
vehicles that they, they're, these, these people have built downstairs, I think just the level of professionalism and, and the fabrication these guys do, it's, it's, un, it's unworldly. It's, it's, it's unbelievable. So that, to me, is, is really cool. I enjoy that aspect of our business. I wish we did more of it. We don't really do much. But I think just seeing what people can accomplish with, you know, just your hands. There's always something new and great, and that's why I love coming every year, just to try to stay ahead of the What gets me excited is seeing all the type, uh, all the tools and uh, systems that you know are being created to help companies become more efficient and effective. So I don't like cars. I, I don't. I don't. I don't. I'm not into custom cars. Um, I'm not into what a lot of people come to see him for. So me and my dad used to come to this town a lot. So it brings back memories of him a little bit. Um, the best thing I have is my kids are with me. That's, that's, the, that's the most, that's the thing I treasure the most. Oh man, where do you even begin? <laughs> um, I think my favorite part was the Golden Sahara downstairs in the Goodyear booth. I think that was probably my favorite thing. There's, there's obviously a ton of great stuff out there. There's so many amazing cars. I'm not that much of a car guy, but there's always the technical innovations here. Anybody that's in, in this industry needs to come out here. You know, If you haven't been, you need to be, be here. I think people often think of it as a car show, and it's anything but that. You know, It's so much more. You know, so.